Hi, this is Corey Ringdahl for Red Carpet Report. Uh, today we are at the premiere of Pennyworth, DC's Pennyworth on Epix. It is a show about a butler before he was a butler. There's a time in every butler's life when he chooses to be a butler, and this is before that time. Yeah, you're doing a wonderful job. Thank you. You're very welcome. Um, what kind of, I guess, background research did you do for the character, or did you just jump right in? Um, a lot of it was from Bruno's script. Bruno Hell is a, a showrunner, a creator. He, he wrote a fantastic script, um, which had a lot of information in it. So, so that was kind of my bible. I chose, I chose to not go for um, go through too many of the comics because this takes place before the comics. Um, so I put those to one side in my head, if you like, and uh, and and really just delved into 60s culture, music, stuff like that. Excellent. And uh, what's it like playing, uh, I guess, a, a war veteran who's going through a lot of problems? Oh, well, yeah, it, that, that was one side of it that, you know, I think it, he's experiencing what we now know to be PTSD, but what perhaps in the 60s, you know, it was kind of get on with it sort of attitude. So we wanted to be sensitive with that and, and, and explore it, but also, you know, I, I did. I did research. I spoke to people, but you know. Um, so, so yeah, we certainly, we certainly wanted to, to do that justice. Um, tell me a little bit about the, uh, the the prep that you do to kind of get into the the character of a, a brilliant military uh, fighter as well as charming ne'er do well. Well, we we had some physical training. Uh, we we there's a great place in London which is a big warehouse full of weapons. Um, behind some houses, you'd never know it was there. Um, and, um, and, um, Free gooses. Yeah, it was fantastic. So we, I got locked in there for a couple of days with some, with some guys, it was, it was good fun. Somebody professionally just beat the crap out of you? Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. Well, you came out shining. Um, uh, do you have any, do you want to give us any inkling character-wise where you're going to be going through this arc in the season? Well, I think Alfred really goes from a from a boy to a man in this season. Um, he experiences love, loss, um, you know, a, 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 a flourishing business. Uh, yeah, he go he really goes from a boy to a man. I did want to ask you one final thing: um, if Alfred Pennyworth were to give somebody uh, advice on starting a new business, what what would he give them? Make friends with a billionaire. I think it helps. <laughs> It certainly does. Thank you so much for talking with us. I appreciate thank it. You. No worries. Thanks a lot. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this has been uh, the Red Carpet Report for uh, Pennyworth, DC's Pennyworth. Give us a like, a comment, a subscribe. Uh, leave us a comment on who your favorite Batman villain is and who your favorite weird Grant Morrison Batman is. And you really only have one choice. It is Batman Zenera. 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 A lot of apostrophes. <laughs> <laughs>